Hello and welcome to another mod pick overview. This time we're looking at Vault Hunters, which is uh, a mod pack that has been played by some YouTubers actually. So yeah, let's start with the first category. So we're going into furniture decorations and building blocks. Um, this mod pack has quite a lot in this category. Um, but yeah, let's start with the first one, which is block ca carpentry. Um, block carpentry is basically giving you the possibility to use customizable block textures and you can redesign basically, for example, stairs um, or yeah, new ones. You can create them with different materials uh, or like gates. Um, so very cool. Also like for slopes, you can use that or for letters. Um, but yeah, that's block carpentry. Then we have decorative blocks. Um, decorative blocks is basically adding uh, these new blocks, which are helpful uh, for designing, especially if you have a medieval kind of style uh, that you like. Um, yep, very, very helpful. So the next one is up here. It's engineer's decor. Um, basically, you get new uh, decoration blocks from engineers uh, for, for enge engineer stuff. Um, so if you can see here, it's quite actually a lot that you can um, use. So these all here go for that mod, um, but basically helping you to design a kind of like uh, yeah, engineering stuff or technical or mechanical uh, construction site or something like that. So then we have environmental materials. Environmental materials is adding basically um, well, new materials that you can use for uh, new energy. Um, so yeah, these ones are basically helping with that. Um, so stuff that is, yeah, for environment nice. <laughs> so they added these ones. Um, yeah, quite cool and enjoyable. Then we have fairy lights. Fairy lights, wow, that's quite bright up here. Um, fairy lights is basically, um, adding these some uh, lights that you can put on the floor or on the ceiling or that you can connect to um, new things so if you like kind of that to play around they're very beautiful i really enjoy them actually so yeah give it a look then we have frame compacting drawers um, those ones who know the storage drawer mod and this one is basically adding to this and you can basically redesign those storage uh, storage drawers so it's an add-on to storage drawers and they're customizable basically. Then we have iSkull Utilities. iSkull Utilities is offering you or giving you building blocks uh, for the vaults. So uh, the Vault Hunter mod is the main one which later comes up, but these ones are basically needed. Uh, so the vaults look quite nice and have uh, new blocks. So if you go around there and uh, find new loot and stuff, you probably will up, uh, come up with these blocks that I um, implemented into the game. Then we have macaws and macaws had different uh, mods in here. And the first one is bridges. The other one is doors, furniture, roofs and windows. Um, so basically macaws added uh, this mod to improve the vanilla kind of feel for like decoration st stuff so we have all kinds of um new doors and our uh, bridges and as well so as you can see we have like three pages uh, of macaws itself um so everything you basically need they have vanilla types of texture so they fit quite nice into the vanilla type of feel then we have Masonry. Masonry is adding um, decorative blocks using a stone cutter. So a stone cutter has now more use actually, um, because you have now like for example end stone that you can use to make tiled end stone or uh, walls, um, brick walls. So all the standard versions, half slabs, brick walls, um, brick itself, um, and uh, full 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 ones are basically now craftable with different materials so like granite is actually now more usable as well and then we have mr crayfish furniture mod uh, it's kind of like buggy here that's kind of what the mod does uh, mr crayfish furniture mod basically uses vanilla type 
um, uh, style. Um, I know this one has a resource pack. Like I, I put a resource pack in here. Oh wow, someone has been putting something away. Um, so yeah, basically you get tons of new furniture uh, that are in a vanilla type of style. Then next up we have Neon Craft Mod. Wow, you can't see anything in here. Hello, Miss Enderman. Um, it's pretty bright. You can't even read it. Oh, so sad. I left you a message up here. So that FF20, GG, well played and stuff. But, oh, one. Th <laughs> yeah, but yeah, basically adding like uh, letters and uh, numbers in a neon type uh, of style. So quite nice, actually, if, if you have like a modern type of style um, in your building. Then we have platforms. Platforms is basically adding these ones. Um, you can stack them up with very high. It's quite useful for like if you are in a cave um, and then need to get up somewhere or so. So these ones are very, very helpful to climb up somewhere to build bridges and stuff. So very, very cool. Then we have simp uh, storage drawers, excuse me. Um, so storage drawers is adding these drawers in which you can put in like items, for example here. Um, and then there are like 16 slots, I think, in this only, in this one. Um, so I can put like 16 blocks of there in there. Um, yeah, and these ones has obviously more, have uh, obviously more uh, space to store. So quite cool to organize your stuff. Um, if you feel like, well, I just don't have enough stuff here, you have the possibility to store them and they are displayed as well. Then we have supplementaries. Supplementaries is adding a lot of small stuff and decorations. Um, so they are all quite small stuff, like for example, these flags, um, presents and stuff. So very, very small things um, that you can put down. So just a decorating mod, basically, mostly. Then we have simply lights. And as I see, the lights are quite bright. Uh, I need to change it with my shaders, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, it's adding very, very simple lights, uh, lights that are uh, usable and which are quite, yeah, um, universally, like you can put them down in pools or kind of stuff. Um, so quite cool, very small, um, but very helpful to light up some rooms. So yeah, that would be everything in this category. Let's go to the next one. So the next one is crafting and cooking. Uh, and as well, um, mobs and creatures and cosmetics ambient and structures because there's not really much in this mod pack uh, in these um, categories. So I, yeah, basically joined all of them together. So starting with crafting and cooking, we have cooking for blockheads. Cooking for blockheads is giving you um, new types of, uh, well, ways to cook. Um, so we have like kitchen utilities, um, things to store for cooling. We have also cook, uh, cookbooks like for these ones, for example, I have three different ones. Um, yeah, there are three different ones, uh, which show you basically the re recipes for all uh, the things that you can craft. Um, very helpful and it makes like the yeah kitchen area basically way nicer. Um, yeah, you can put in stuff here. And then you can check up the recipes that are basically with this, um, yeah, with that material. Then we have mobs and creatures. Um, it's basically only one mod that is like waddles. It's adding like penguins, um, these tiny ones here. Um, so yeah, quite cool. Um, they can be quite annoying after some time if you, if you don't, uh, well, <laughs> if you have tons of them, um, they might get some, yeah, a little bit annoying. Then we have cosmetics, ambient and structures. Um, and in that category, we have all the biomes you go. All the biomes you go adding like a lot of new biomes. So we have over 80 ones um, that are added to the overworld nether end and end. And as well, we have new tree tri types, I'm sorry, new tree types and uh, more than 200 blocks and items basically that are linked to those biomes. Um, so I can give you a short overview here. Um, so basically these ones are all added. Uh, so as you can see, we have also stairs and different types of wood um, or like bookshelves. Uh, basically all the vanilla kind of um, 
crafting things or uh, yeah well uh, slabs and stairs and stuff are now available in different wood types um, and as well some new flowers and trees so very cool actually for that category so yeah that would be everything in these three categories let's go to the next one so the next one is equipment so everything that you can equip or use basically are tools or weapons armor uh, you're gonna find in here um so yeah let's dive into it then we have in the first one uh the first mod is archer's paradox so archer's paradox is basically adding new arrows and um, tons of new arrows actually that are quite helpful uh, i think um that in minecraft there are not enough arrows and it's kind of like yeah this one basically improves that and adding new ones uh, which are adding more damage or have certain side effects so very cool actually um to use in in this mod pack then we have building gadgets uh, you get different gadgets and uh, also some upgrades um they help you basically to build faster things uh, or bigger structures they're using up energy so you have to um, constantly well not constantly but you have to uh, recharge them to use them but they're easy for building bigger things so quite helpful if you are actually in need then we have camera mod so the camera mod um, is adding uh, a camera and this album here and you can take pictures of that like I took some here um, and it's to, like as you see I used a different texture pack at that time so yeah these are some pictures I took and you can put them on the wall how big you want um, yeah then we have comforts comforts adding sleeping bags and hammocks um, so there's a hammock up there because like well they need to be a certain uh, block distance apart like I think it's four the minimum um, you can go on further but um, yeah four is the minimum basically um, quite helpful to go sleeping when you are on the run or if you go and adventuring or something then we have corpse so basically if you die you leave uh, a corpse behind you uh, which you can loot then afterwards and basically transfer all the items and yep that's it iron jetpacks iron jetpacks gives you basically the pulse speed to fly uh, you have to refuel them um, and there's also one for creative but uh, it's quite as you see it's like tier c meaning like it's quite rare it's quite um uh, well kind of like a legendary item <laughs> um so yeah then we have hmm 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 and these ones are basically just target dummies um they give you a damage indicator if you hit them and they show you basically how much damage you dealt so if you have like a sword where you're kind of like well i don't know how much damage that actually does well you can test them out at the target dummies you can also equip them with armor so yep then we have simple backpacks so it's adding new backpacks backpacks they're also upgradable um and they are basically tiered into different materials as you can see like uh, they, we have a common one and we have a pick one an ultimate one a rare one um, and they all are upgradable then we have torch master torch master adding um, all of these items here um, and they are basically for world control meaning like for example here uh, resi residual uh, lights for feral flare lanterns uh, so meaning basically um, you have this feral flare lantern which is adding an invisible light so if you have a room where you feel like well i actually need to light this room but i don't really like to put everywhere torches and um, glowstone so you can use these ones or you have a mega torch which basically prevents natural spawning of hostile mobs um, or you have the same one which is basically um, spawn um, it's preventing to that actually passive animals are spawned so quite helpful for actually controlling what should spawn in your area and whatnot then we have waystones um, waystones are basically adding these types of things which are um, like a teleport stone where you can use them to transport yourself uh, to different locations um, you can pick them up in the overworld but there's also um, um, 
an upgradable system. So um, later on, we're gonna come to that. But basically how this works, you have to unlock it to use it. That's the reason why some blocks are not spawned here um, because I didn't, um, well, they're not available yet for me. Um, after some time they're available, you have the skill tree where you basically can look over all the things that you can do. Um, and the teleport uh, stones, the way stones are basically in here as well. So then we have world map and Xeros minimap. Um, basically both of them are uh, a map. The Xeros minimap is uh, up to the top left, as you can see. You can see your surroundings and where you are. And um, the world map is basically adding on the button M, um, a world map where you can look around. Oh, see a village over there, for example, um, or other things, and where you can put on waypoints if you like. So yeah, quite, quite cool, actually. Then, oh wow, actually, that's it in this. Uh, in this section. So, uh, sorry, I thought there would be another one. Um, so yeah, that's everything in equipment and let's go to the next one. So well, the next category is tech and mech. So everything that is technical or mechanical, um, you're gonna find in this category. And let's start with applied energistics. Applied energistics is basically making use of power. Um, I mean like energy and you can use it for storing or transmitting things. Um, it also can be used to do something wireless. Um, I didn't put it down here because as I said, like you need to um, achieve it or basically unlock it to use it. Um, that's the case with applied energistic. So later in the game, you can use it. Um, it can also be used for mining and to networking as well. So a very technical mod, uh, quite big and you can take up some time definitely on that mod. Then we have Botania, it's a nature, um, well, it's kind of like a nature magic technical mod, um, which is adding like auras and flowers and mana. So basically over the world, you can, if, can find like different auras and you can use those things to um, make technical advancements, 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 yeah, that's it. Um, and as you see, like with that come new tools, um, new upgradable things. You have trinkets and you have um, potions that come with it. So yeah, quite cool, new building blocks. But most of it is basically a technical thing and that's the reason why it's in here. So then we've created a very, very nice, nice mod. I really enjoy that one. Uh, it's working basically with power that you have to create by like, for example, here, like uh, with water or with fire or um, different yeah, ways to use it. Um, very, very cool. I like the animations and they're very helpful actually to use like automated uh, or to, to make automated system that creates certain things. Uh, you can use that for as well. So yeah. You can create with that mechanical uh, machines. Then we have dim storage. Dim storage is a technolo technological version. Now, now we have it uh, of inner chest system. So someone who knows that basically um, it's connecting the storage systems, um, but it's more like a technical way of doing that. Um, the end of chest is basically using vanilla ones. This one is a technical uh, using technical blocks for that. Then we have flux networks. So flux is basically used in a lot of mods. Um, and this one is using it for wireless energy networks. Um, it's very customizable and very uh, cool to use actually if you're into networking. Um, it's definitely a mod that is oh, that you need for that. Then we have gorges and switches. So basically this one is adding a lot of mechanical decoration uh, things, but they're as well like functional. So um, they are emitting like redstone signals depending on what you have or what uh, thing it is. Um, and as you can see here, there's quite a lot actually, uh, quite a lot of uh, th certain things. Uh, you have an alarm lamp as well for, um, if it has a redstone signal, it kind of emits that. Um, so yeah, quite, quite cool. Then we have immersive engineering, which is adding <coughs> realism inspired technology. Um, and also has like retro future tech things. So uh, very, very cool. It kind of reminds me of, um, is it Biontech? I, th 
think it's no it's not biotech that's like <laughs> that's like for creating yeah uh vaccines uh no no bio um bioshock yeah that was it uh bioshock that's kind of like reminding me of that um so <laughs> so um yeah quite cool mod actually which is adding a lot of um yeah technological themed uh, building blocks um so as you can see here we have uh yeah conveyor belts which are all kind of like in the uh, that inspired technological way so yeah um let's go up to the next one then we have industrial foregoing um which is basically adding automated builds um, we have a new machines so um, with those machines <coughs> you can do all kinds of new, new stuff um so yeah very very cool to automate uh, your builds basically basically then we have mechanism and mechanism generators um, mechanism is adding high-tech machinery and it's also uh, for energy generation and it adds a lot of nice gadgets um, this one is adding basically power over mechanical things while others are doing that more on the technical way this one is doing that on the mechanical way um, similar to create well not is uh, like when it comes to animation and stuff but just in the way of like generating power um, generators is basically an advanced energy generation um, for that mod basically then we have mining gadgets um, which is adding basically lasers uh, to go mining um, you can do that also automated uh, automatic um, so it's nice to go away or something and then uh, the laser basically does that for you um, so mining with lasers then we have modular routers um, which is adding these routers basically which um, help for like uh, item transportation so it's like a flexible way of uh, using that um, it's also using router blocks um, and pluggable uh, modules for that it's also good for uh, sorting or absorbing certain things so a very cool mod actually um, to transport items and it has a lot of filters as well um, so yeah very helpful for like uh, transporting items then we have power. Um, power is adding generators, solar panels, energy cells, cable directors, and also wireless energy. So basically energy uh, generation mod. Then we have pretty pipes. Uh, pretty pipes is adding item transportation mod. It's pretty simple. They're adding these pipes here, or these uh, pipes for uh, transporting items. Um, and there's not really much more to it there are like certain terminals like for example this one which you can use for automatic um, producing but yeah quite cool then we have range pumps range pumps is adding um, well the possibility to pump liquids um, into a range so in a certain distance you can use that to pump that uh, liquid basically for a certain distance then we have refined storage add-ons and requestify and basically this one does well it's a mass storage system and the mods help with that it's also for networks and fluids um, and they keep your refined storage stock with craftable items um, that is what actually requestify does so well as well an item transportation and mass storage um, well mostly mass storage actually uh, mod then we have RF tools, base builder and power and storage utility from RF basically. So it's adding all kinds of these things. It's um, basically a red flux. It's, a, it's for teleporting. It's a technical mod. Uh, you can use it for dimensions, power generation, storage. Um, so very very much actually you can do with that quite cool actually to use if you like like technical mods then we have thermal expansion and foundation uh, thermal expansion is adding well it's the main mod it's a combination of uh, tech and magic basically um, so you have a technical mod that is more on the magic themed side um, so yeah check it out it's quite big um, and we have basically the expansion mod with that um uh, sorry the foundation one which is basically adding the basic stuff and resources for it and then the last one in this category is xnet which is 
a networking um, mod which is using like cables uh, for items and fluids etc um, so yeah quite cool actually if you like technical mods so this would be everything in this category let's go to the last one and yeah until then so the last one is game changer miscellaneous or that, or basically game changer so everything that doesn't fit into the other categories you're gonna find in here so give it a look even though it might be some things uh, pretty obvious or well not there much to it but um yeah you should give it a try i think so let's look into it um so first we have forge snet which is basically making that sugarcane can grow faster then with apple skin, it gives you basically um, or shows you how much a food gives you for, for like health pass. For example, like you can see it here. Um, you get like three um, yeah, things for your bread value <laughs> down below. So yeah. Uh, then we have clumps. Clumps is basically clumping down XP. So it's like reducing and you have bigger chunks of XP rather than um, individual pearls of xp that are coming to you then we have compressium compressium is adding um, blocks that basically you can shrink down um, tons of blocks to make them smaller so similar to for example like if you have iron and you make an iron block um, you have like one iron block so this one does it even further and you can use for example like iron blocks and compress them down even further so you have only one block and they are um, nine uh, iron blocks in it and so forth so and this one is basically the last edition it's like nine ones and so it's quite compressed actually uh, so very helpful to use for storage then we have controlling um, basically it's a search by for key binding um, the key binding menu and uh, not really much more actually then we have craft tweaker which is helping you change recipes adding commands it's for scripting commands item and properties um, basically it's just a mod actually that is needed for like developers mostly um, but not really for well the people who really play the mod pack then we have create tweaker um, it's basically craft tweaker for create so <laughs> this one for create <laughs> nothing more then we have dank storage um, dank storage is yeah giving you ba basically uh, bigger storage systems um, and that's basically it there's not really much more this could be also in tech and uh, mech I, I thought and then we have dark utilities so you get basically plates vector plates like these ones um, or kind of different new plates that are checking for entities or whatever um, and they move entities around for example um, you can see here you have all kind of stuff like here um, you have also filters um, that are very helpful but yeah and and small stuff added like for example a necklace or something then we have easy villagers one of those mods which i would recommend everyone um, it's quite a cool mod i really like this one basically it's making everything smaller that yeah for example you have an iron farm here uh, where you can um, basically if you edit all the uh, the, the good stuff um, you get an iron farm here you have like for example here if you have breeder villager breeder all in a small one block uh, you have an, a trader basically you can put in here your villager and then it's set in one block quite helpful um, and so forth there's also one basically for uh, wait a minute so you get like a villager here oh now i i forgot like how to be creative here and basically it's it's just an item um so the villager becomes an item which you can place down wherever you want so it's nice for transporting actually then we have endermail well transporting the villager i mean um endermail endermail lets you deliver a package uh, via an enderman so basically you, you you have an enderman you can click it on and give it an ender mail and then this enderman is going to someone else and deliver the message then we have entity detector entity de entity detector is like a normal detector but it's just for entities basically then we have fast workbench 
um, basically it remembers the last recipe that you used in the workbench and it's a performance upgrade. Then with GEI, that's the main mod, uh, GR, GEI tweaker and integration uh, of GEI. So basically everything that you see here, um, that is what all the mods are. Um, GER is basically um, uh, for dungeons, uh, it's for mob drops, plant drops, etc. Uh, etc. Um, yeah, but basically it shows you the item, the crafting recipe. It's nice for using and creative. Very, very useful mod. Uh, it's mostly in all of the mod packs that I so forth um, reviewed. Then we have Flywheel. Flywheel is a modern rendering engine for modern Minecraft. That's it, nothing more. Then we have FTB backups. It's basically creating backups which you can customize uh, when they, yeah, when that backup should take place. Yep. Then we have iron chests and iron furnaces, basically upgradable chests and furnaces um, for Minecraft. So yeah, you have like an obsidian one, you have a diamond one, and as you see, they just have more space in them. So quite helpful. Um, the other ones are basically creating or like f smelting things faster when it comes to furnaces. Then we have Hawila. So Hawila is basically a UI improvement and it gives you block information um, when you have certain things. So um, if you, if you uh, it's, I think, uh, hey, what am I looking at? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like um, nice spelled out. So basically it's like, whoa, what I'm looking at? Yeah, I'm looking at two stone breaks or at the birch sign. And then we have inventory tweaks renewed. Um, it's basically for sorting and autofill, etc. So for example, as you can see here, these ones filter um, the export button and the input button, uh, the one that you can drag. Uh, well, that is mouse tweaks actually, but um, yeah, very, very helpful. Um, yeah, then we have Ice Spawner. Ice Spawner is basically adding you, or giving you customizable spawners. So um, very helpful for making your own farms with that. Then we have metal barrels, basically upgradable barrels, like similar to iron chests and iron furnaces. Um, so, yep. Then we have next up Morphois. Morphois is adding um, the sleep vote system so you don't have to wait until everyone is in bed then with quark so quark well quark adds so many things um and that's the reason why it's in this category it could be in the creations and building blocks it could be also like in cosmetics and ambience because like well it covers a lot of different areas actually in the game um so it's adding a lot of new blocks but it's changing the game overall um it gives for example like the caves and you look it has it's like stalactites and stalagmites um well new mobs new redstone ways building blocks cave upgrade so a compilation of very small things but very very helpful things so then we have mouse tweaks mouse tweaks is adding basically the way of like well it enhances the mouse buttons um, and inventory management. So like as I said, these ones that you can drag for example, and that's mouse tweaks. Then we have moving elevators. It's, yeah, it's adding elevators, basically real elevators um, to be used in the game. Then we have open loader. It's actually a small um, data pack and resource um, that you are applied basically globally across all the save files and in all game instances so very helpful if you have massive like different kind of safe games then we have open blocks elevator basically an elevator um but these ones are basically helping with this one together then we have patchouli patchouli is um basically it lets you create your own documentation quests and with progress stuff so as you see here these things um, you have different quests or pro progress uh, stuff. Quite cool actually to use if you are on further. Um, you have in the beginning, I think, five uh, points that you can use. Uh, I use it here on clients and dash and stuff. Um, and f the further you are in the game, the more points you get. So. So then, sorry. <laughs> I was a little bit. Um, 
So then we have Runelic, uh, basically adding like a runic font to the game. Um, then we have storage overall, which is well changing the overall of storage containers like chests and stuff, uh, the way how they look and how they function. Then we have Toro Health Damage Indicators, which is basically showing you damage and HP from mobs and players. Um, so it's yeah, it basically sh shows you like how much damage is dealt and how much XP, uh, HP sorry, um, the mob has. Then we have useful railroads, basically adding new rails, so they have different functions. Um, yep, very very cool actually for using uh, when it comes to like transporting stuff. Then we have trash cans, they're adding basically these trash cans for liquid items, energy and the one ultimate is basically everything can then go in it. Um, so you don't have to throw it all in the lava or something. It basically does it for all for yourself, uh, for you already. So the last one is the Vault Hunters mod. Um, so basically this one is the main mod. Um, it is basically all about like finding artifacts, going through the vaults. It's about leveling, looting and a lot of bosses are added basically so this is one when you come into and look for the vaults this is one actually if you have any problems with that um check that out actually on the mod page it's everything is on curseforge um so every single mod that you f yeah will need help for um either go on discord server um if you have a problem with that or well you can also ask me um when it comes to configuration um so if you have a certain problem with the mod just let me know and I might give it a look and um, yeah, reply to you. So that is everything in this mod pack. Um, if you're interested in mod packs and mods, so uh, then give it a like, subscribe, comment. Um, also say if something uh, could be changed in my reviews. So yeah, I'm open for critique and improvements into uh, well when it comes to my videos. So yeah, have a nice day and enjoy playing this mod pack. See you soon.